What is happening guys? Bob here, Rides Auto Sales. Got a lot of people asking for a video on the 69 Camaro that we have up for sale running no reserve on eBay. So I figured uh, I'd make a quick video, let you guys see what's going on. Uh, let's jump underneath this hood here. Give these headers a nice grab. 100% cold start. Hear this thing fire up. Fire up and run. Grabbing onto those things as hard as I can as you can see. Okay, let's go ahead, jump on in here. Gives this thing a fire. Let you hear it run. Couple pumps. inside again. Go ahead and kill that. Go ahead and jump underneath this engine bay while we have that hood open. We'll close this too real quick. One finger on this guy. Nice and solid. As you can see, a engine bay has been detailed out pretty nice. Um, you know, you got some dated valve colors, dated Holly air cleaner, poly double pumper carb. Excuse me, it's not a double pumper, single setup. Uh, set of headers on this thing, full exhaust. Take a look at those undercarriage pictures, brand new upper control arms, upper ball joints, pitman arm. Go ahead and close this hood. Give it to you in full view with the hood closed as well. Go ahead and cruise across the front of this. Chrome represents itself pretty nice. Headlights are nice and clear. Grill's in pretty good condition. Do have a little bit of wavy going on here. Panel fitment is pretty nice. Of course, you're gonna see two different colors of gray here. But as you can see, panel fitment looks pretty good from fender to hood, hood to fender, all the way across the top. Hood does sit nice and flush. Um, looking down passenger side, this thing is pretty smooth. Uh, nice crisp lines. Once again, panel gap from fender to door looks good. Some white paint throwing, showing through here. As the description states, um, this thing was originally painted Dover white. This was done over the top about 30 years ago. Some white showing through here. Stuff's flaking off. Everywhere that you see that is flaking off, guys, I rub it and it's nice and smooth underneath it. I'm guessing they just didn't scuff it good enough when they shot it. Uh, from door to rear quarter panel gap looks great. You can put your head nice and tight on these rear quarters and those doors are nice and flush. Rear window looks good. Coming across the rear, got some more paint flake right in here, all the way across, standing back. You can't see it. Get up on it, of course, you're gonna see it. Tail lights look good. Nothing cracked or weather checked, anything like that. Rear bumper presents itself pretty good also. That rear roll pan looks pretty decent. You got some white over here. Like I said, anywhere that is chipped, I can rub it. It's nice and smooth underneath. I'm guessing once again, they just didn't scuff it well enough. Looking down the driver's side, once again, presents itself very nicely. Panel fitment from rear quarter to door looks good all the way through. From door to fender looks good all the way through once again. Doors do sit nice and flush on this side as well. 
get nice and close to that rear quarter. Got some paint slide up here. I'm guessing they scuffed the top better or maybe this was a vinyl car at one time. Um, but you know, get up nice and close on that. As the description states, is it perfect? Heck no, it's not. Guys, we, we all see what roller 69s are bringing out there. Um, it's tough to find a nice roller for under $12,000. This thing needs absolutely nothing to drive and enjoy. Uh, these pro car seats. It was jammed. Seals all look good. Nothing cracked or distressed, anything like that. Seals look good the whole way through the car. Uh, rear quarter glass looks good also. Carpet is brand new, nice and clean. Headliner is brand new, nice and tight. Gauges are clear, easy to read. Missing a vent there, as you can see. Cut out for the CD player was done like crap, but you know, it is what it is. Dash pad looks good. Nothing sun stressed, anything like that. Visors, heck no, no visors in this thing. Rear seat looks good also. Let me uh, pop this guy forward. GM belts, all four corners, even up front. Back seat looks great. Go ahead, stick one finger on that. Close that bad boy for you. Let's jump over to the passenger side. Once again, Fisher door seals all look good. Door jams are pretty decent. I mean, it's a nice solid car, guys. Take a look at those undercarriage pictures once again. It's a great, great starting point, or if you just want to have something to drive and enjoy and not pay forty-five thousand dollars for that's finished uh this is this is your car one finger on this bad boy we'll close that jump back and get this thing into full frame for you before we do close and let's get out of the sun view and that is the 69 camaro that is up and running on ebay right now no reserve bid is at nineteen thousand five hundred dollars guys this is a nice solid car somebody can jump in drive enjoy could be a nice start for an ls swap do a beautiful pro touring car cost effective for you whatever a guy wants to do um name email address well the name it's bob of course you're on my youtube channel but email address phone number will be directly below this video feel free to shoot me a text Shoot me a call, shoot me an email as I would love to help you with your next purchase from Rides Auto Sales. Thanks for watching guys, have a good one.